Oh, hello! And hello, guys! It's time for some Darksiders War Master Edition. Uh, yeah, I spawned here instead of where I just saved myself on the ledge. Uh, I think that is something the game will do automatically, so I don't mind. But it's kind of weird. I thought I would have gone all the way up again. But like you saw, some flight spots have uh, opened up over here. So we're gonna go for to this side. To the Twilight Cathedral. But first we have to go through the joking grounds. <laughs> I don't bother with these guys. Oh yeah, and I said I was going to farm for some souls. Uh, you can see it didn't work that out as, as planned. Not enough enemies in this area to do that. No worries, there, there will be another point that I can ask Fulgrim for the Weapon Master uh, ability, or slot. So, let's kill these guys. Oh, come on. Wait, wait, before I go, because there are some tricky little things inside these caves. And, and there might be something that I even I have forgotten. Oh, look at that. I completely would have forgotten this one if I didn't uh, look around. Oh, look at that. A thousand. So when we get to the choking grounds, I can finally ask for a room for the item. Just to be sure, I'm going to check every engine corner again. Because this is one of the... I think two areas that I not have fully uh, looked around in. Because I mostly thought this area was going to be just a little intersection with not much going around. So the chest was completely new for me today. So... Hope you guys... Uh, wait. Aha, there we go. See, this is what you do, what you get if you look around. Even this chest. There are multiple chests, I think, that I don't know about. So it's kind of cool that I actually look around this time and see something like this. <laughs> Though the problem is, how the hell would I get over there? Oh, I can s I finally get it. You see, uh, I don't think I can focus on it precisely. Yeah, you see there a uh, glass painting, or a glass window. You need a void walker for that. That's almost near end game uh, items. As an end game item, you get that in the jail to free. I think one of the angels. I don't know his name for the, at the moment. But I think over there there should be one of the consumables that we need to get because I never got in that chest and I always was looking for three more consumables. So we will see. Look over here. There's the other glass window that we have to shoot a portal from, like in the the game portals. So that's just self-explanatory. Just uh, shoot one portal there, one portal to the other side, and hop in and hop out on the other side. I think my explanation made it even worse. <laughs> mm, let's see. Keeping good eye open just in your environment, you might see something that I now have completely overlooked. The chest over there we will keep in mind. We will come back to that one later. But first we're going to our new areas, the choking grounds. And we'll, I'm planning to do a few things. I'm going to get the health shard. I'm, and I'm going to do the mini boss. The, uh, the mini challenges for the guardian. These bats can be killed in one shot. Oh, another one? Nope. See these these uh, gravestones over here? There are a few scattered around this graveyard. These big ones we have to destroy for the health shard to actually spawn. So that is one of them. And let's get activate Fulgrim and get the weapon master for Thank you. you are. 
because, yep, increased weapon damage is something we all love to have. What At the end of the um, Guardian's uh, mini-quest through the Shadow Realm, we will get another of those, uh, what is it called? Enhancements. Farewell. And I will slot that one in the side. It will increase damage with environmental objects. This over here is a trap, so let's activate it. And let's lure them right back out. You're not going to get me. <laughs> he just kills or for his own uh, life. Did he kill? <laughs> oh, feel sad, man. Uh, you didn't have a good day, did you? Let's grab this artifact. Yeah, yeah. We know that that's an item artifact of the ancient times, so we only have to show being shown that once. To be honest, seeing it again, the same pop up, not really much significant, except for stalling the game a little bit. But I don't mind. Uh, all right. I think if I go over here, I will be teleported over at that side. Or not? And I... Hmm. But yeah, these these are the new enemy types that we have to fight. Die! Let's destroy another of these things. Alright, come here you bastards. We are going to cure you of your... Immortality. Or... I wouldn't call it immortality, you're, you're a mindless slave. Unless you can talk, and I haven't seen that. Oh, great, 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 great. No, 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 no. Too many things to fight, too many things. Okay, that. <laughs> oh, no. God damn it! Thank you, bastards. You lured two more into my my gaze. Come on, there we go. Finally, this is going to be a little bit easier. And you die. And you die. So. I don't want to fight that dude. But we go over here just for a bit. Uh, this coven, like you see, uh, you can drag all the way back. Jesus Christ! Knob off! I don't want to fight you! And you also get the hell away from me! You don't have to worry about m losing much health in this area, because if you destroy all the gravestone and get your health shard, you will be instantly refilled with your health. So... The only thing that is to be done right now is first destroy these things. And get rid of all the enemies that are trying to... F to Actually, fuck with you at the moment. Okay. Let's see. We got those gravestones over there. That is another big path is over there. You can try to run away if you do, if you want. It's not something I can sometimes recommend. But okay. You know how to fight in this game. You can you can just lure a lot of enemies near you and then just 
murder them. Come on. Ow. Oh. You, even your friends couldn't save you. Wait, is there another one? And you die. Nobody likes you. Let's see? Nah, here's another one. And there it goes, and spawning of a chest. <laughs> and... There we go, life shard. Life stone shard. Obtained. Down here, you can go and grab. Uh, let's see, what was it again? Yeah, another of those artifacts. I wouldn't recommend it. Why is that? Uh, first, you have to get rid of this bloody bastard because uh, he might follow you if he sees you. And there's an enemy, a specific enemy that you can fight three times to get a special reward called Mr. K. And it can be quite difficult to fight. Uh, I don't remember fighting him the first time around and winning. I, I think I lost three of, or even more times against him when I fought. Because he is quite difficult with n almost no abilities that you can uh, use. <laughs> For example, in that fight, uh, Stone Skin is a really good ability, so if you have enough money to buy level 1 stone skin, I would recommend doing that if you want to fight them now. But you can also do it later, like for example, I'm going to go through the Twilight Cathedral and beat the uh, boss Tiamat before doing anything like that. Come get me, you bad. And you die. And you do. You too. Down here there are some chests and eventually a shard of Armageddon, but we won't go there yet since we need to get the Tremor Gauntlet and the Crossblade, etc. So, the, the Crossblade will be the first item to get. And that will be in the Trial Cathedral, so. Yeah. Hmm. I have come for the Destroyer. My brother spoke of your coming. But a powerful curse holds me now. I cannot help you. Any curse can be broken. Yes, perhaps. These servants of the Destroyer walk unseen within the realm of shadow. By their blood we are bound. By their blood shall we be free. I can no longer move within the Shadow Realm. Much of my power has left me. You need not enter it. I will grant you the power to see into the accursed realm. The accursed time. realm. But to what end? What hope have we now against the Destroyer's foul sorcery? Hope will not bring you freedom. Yes. Find where these shadow lurkers hide and kill them all! It can't be that hard to find. Okay, there are four of these sh challenges that we have to overcome. Uh, there's one that we have to do to kill 50 or 40 enemies within the time limit. One to kill 50 enemies while our health is draining. One that we have to get five airborne kills, I think that's this one. And one that we have to get five instant kills with the... Yeah, that's just the B button instant kill move. 
I think I'm going to do that one first because that was the most annoying bunch, in my opinion. The the uh, air combo kills that was right over there are pretty easy. Just hold X, and you will get it eventually done within a few seconds. So I will go with the hardest one now, and that is this one. If I am correct. <laughs> to be honest, I think I might put in the end of this episode maybe a little fight if I f if I ended up against uh, fighting Mr. K. If I don't, then you won't see it, but we will see if I go on with it. Kill 30 enemies using only worst instant kill attacks within the time limit. Bonus souls awarded for the time left on the clock. Yeah, so like the bats, you can instantly kill, and large enemies we have to just fight a little bit before they can be instantly killed. So, yeah. This one is kind of... It is not a an, an, an hard one to do, but you need to know how to go about it. Because I, in the end, there will be stronger enemies that I completely neglected and because of it died multiple times when I first tried it ever. So, uh, not the first time because that was in all the way in the past, but the first time in June. Surely this is no challenge for the likes of you. Over here you can also get the achievement get 5 kills in the air without touching the ground. So this is pretty easy, there we go. I would have at least gotten that achievement, but I already have it. So yeah, the only achievement that I that is pretty annoying to get, in my opinion, is uh, the horseback uh, achievement. Ride so many miles on on on, on ruin. Just what? That, that, I just put my joystick and within a, a uh, what is it called? A rubber band and just let it just walk around. That is just so annoying to get that achievement, to be honest. <laughs> but at least I got it, so I don't have to worry about it ever again. Come on, there we go. Just kill these bats as quickly as possible. These are the easier kills. If you see some bats, just go go for it. Leave your um, oh crap! Shit! 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 I I have to instant kill them. Keep in mind that you have to keep your blade guys ready for later use. I will show you just. There we go. There is where we have to use blade geyser. <laughs> We have to kill this guy. This guy can be quite... This guy can help us as well with fighting. So we, we have to utilize that as well. And there we go. Kill this guy with your blade geyser first, because the second one will spawn and it can be quite annoying to fight two of them at once on apocalyptic difficulty. Alright, that is one down. There's a bat over here. Alright, that makes four. There we go, already another one. <laughs> okay, so... There we go. And there's still one down on the earth. There we go. And finished. It's not that hard once you know what you need to do, but you need to keep in mind that the hard enemies you have to kill instantly. Just focus on them. Those brutes can kill and and actually hurt your other uh, other weaker enemies. So you don't have to worry about that. Just kill him, and the second one will spawn, and you will have at least enough kills to. Uh, 
finish it without ever touching that guy. And I almost never got hit in this fight. That shows if you know what to do, it's not that difficult. But you at least need to be sure what you're going to do with it. So, like I said, keep your blade geysers ready for the bigger enemies. The, the, the other three fights that we have to go through now are breezes in comparison. So, let's go with this one first. The furthest of them all. This one, I think, is. There's a toxic mist. Or. Is this a toxic mist one? Uh, it can be that. No, this is not the toxic mist one, I think. I think here we have to kill 50 enemies within the time limit, or 40 enemies. It can be that it is a toxic mist one that we have to kill 50 enemies while our health is slowly trading. Oh no, this is this, the Toxic Mist one. Kill 50 enemies before war's infected health depletes. Bonus souls will be rewarded for any remaining health. There are four health chests that you can uh, grab, plus two ref chests, so utilize those. There we go. There they spawn. I'm just killing left, right, left, right. I cannot wait until I have some more actual moves that I can use with war. Because this is a little bit too... x spammy. Oh yeah, I'm just pressing the X button to keep pressing it. Because I don't have any other ability yet. I hope after this, uh, this uh, whole thing... Whole the buckle, I will have at least enough, enough souls to buy some moves. Die. Oh yeah, I could have, I could have been alternating between these two. <laughs> but yeah, both of them have, don't have much to go on. Just the basic attacks. And go away! Okay, so we're almost done with this one. But we will have to wait because there will be a big dude coming spawning pretty soon. So I've not been hit almost once. I think he has spawned. Oh no. No, he has not spawned. You can have used your abilities if you so please, but I I don't do that. These are really just last minute options for me. That are most of my abilities, because I'd rather not use them at, at this fight. Because, look, these enemies just die easily. Unless they are kind of an annoyance with the boss fight, like, you would spawn them. Yes, I would use it to, to, to completely... Uh, oh, there was that dude. That's one other down. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. These... F yeah, these four are the ones that I have left. Okay, let's kill this one. Let's kill this one. Let's get my health back, and let's kill this one. 
and I got my achievement, or not achievement, my my fight with full health. Didn't use any other chest. <laughs> no, you could have used it. That was entertaining. But I don't. We do it again. So let's see. Can I still use these chests? I can't. So uh, not really something I have to do. These chests will automatically refill all your stuff. So no, I don't need those chests. It's not like I'm going to see them ever again. I don't think you can go down there to fight Mr. K at the moment. I haven't tested it yet. But I don't think he will spawn because I mean I'm kind of looking in the shadow realm. Okay, let's go with the one that we have to kill 40 enemies within the time limit. Ah, oh, this chest. Let's get it out of the way. <laughs> yeah, you can keep it if you want to, but it's an unnecessary chest for me. Ah, uh, yeah. Kill 40 enemies within the time limit. Defeat for the enemies within the time limit. Bonus souls will be rewarded for any left at the clock. Okay. Souls. <laughs> okay, I stopped. <laughs> Come and get me, come and get me! Come and get me, come and get me! Okay, come on. We are almost nine, 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 nine. <laughs> nine, 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 nine. Wait. Yep, there we go. I was thinking of this guy. And there we go. This one is not so easy, it's not so difficult like the other ones. Only the one that you have to get instant kills. It can be quite difficult to do. I always knew you had it in you. Okay, there's one chest. Two chests, and let's go. <laughs> let's do the last and the easiest of them all, and then go to the Guardian and say, You have been freed. Let us through. And I will say, It will be the end of this episode. Alright, an aerial brawl. Defeat five enemies using aerial combos within the time limit. Bonus souls will be rewarded for any left on the clock, any time left on the clock. So, it will spawn one, you kill one, spawn two, etc. And it's, it's just this that you do the only. The only <laughs> this, this, this what you do the whole time.
and there we go. Come on. This one is not hard. It's just holding the X button until everything is done. Block counter. War reflexes instincts have been awoken, allowing him to counter attack physical and projectile attacks. Press RB just before the moment of impact. We certainly will, Watcher. Revenger, this enhances war this enhancement increases war damage with environmental weapon attacks. So this will be the end of the episode. Like always, hope you enjoyed and don't forget to get your game on. Till next time.